Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing four quick and easy dinners using one of my favorite pantry staples, rice aroni. I'll make sure to leave the recipes in the description box. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. Today I'm making zesty Spanish beef and rice. So I have one pound of lean ground beef in my skillet. To that, I am adding in some onion and bell pepper. I am using frozen just because that's what I have on hand and that's just more convenient for me. So I'm just tossing that in there. And then I am going to season the mixture with some garlic salt. This is the brand that I really love, Lowry's. And I am just going to let this cook completely. So my meat and veggies are done and I just poured in two cups of water and I am pouring in a can of diced tomatoes undrained. some butter, and now I'm going to stir in the contents of the rice aroni box. So I'm using Spanish rice, and the little seasoning packet as well. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir. So I am just going to let this come to a boil, and as soon as it does, I'm just going to cover, reduce heat, let this simmer for about 20 minutes or until that rice is ready. Okay, so here is everything all plated up, super quick and easy, and I am serving this with some fresh buttered and salted corn. Today I'm making green chili chicken rice aroni casserole. And I am starting off by preparing a box of chicken rice aroni according to package directions. I am using the low sodium um, variety. And I have just sauteed my rice mixture in a little bit of butter. And now I'm adding in my water. and my seasoning package. And then I'm just gonna let this cook up. Okay, so my rice aroni is fully cooked. Now I am adding in my cooked chicken and I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Adding in some diced green chilies. Now, if you are sensitive to heat or if you're cooking for kiddos, you don't have to add these in, but I'm adding them in. And I'm adding in some sour cream. Can of cream of chicken soup. And some Monterey Jack cheese. I'm sorry, pepper jack cheese. Now again, if you are sensitive to heat or if you're cooking for small kids, you can use just regular Monterey Jack cheese instead of the pepper jack. So I'm putting half of it in, I'm gonna stir it up, and then I'm gonna put the other half on top of the casserole. So my casserole is ready to go into the oven. I am using a greased 11 by seven pan. The recipe calls for you to use a nine by 13, but I always use the size pan and I don't have a problem with it at all. So I am just going to pop this in the oven and bake it for about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so here is the casserole. As you can see, it was so easy to make. Here is our plate. I am just serving um, our dinner tonight with a side salad. So for dinner tonight, I am making rice aroni ground beef stroganoff. So in my skillet, I have prepared a box of beef um, rice aroni according to package directions. It's not cooked all the way through. Um, and at this point in the recipe, you're supposed to add in fresh mushrooms. But as you can see, I have sauteed my mushrooms. I just didn't wanna put them in there raw. I just felt like, you know, I like a little bit of color and a little bit of seasoning. So I did uh, saute these in butter and I added some garlic salt as well. Of course, that's totally optional. You can just put your raw mushrooms in there. And then it also says at this point, you're supposed to add raw 
um, onion and raw green pepper. But I sauteed my onion and ground pepper, uh, I'm sorry, my onion and green pepper with ground beef as you can see here. And so now I'm just adding that into the rice mixture as well. So I'm gonna stir this up, cover it, and let that rice continue to cook. Okay, it's been about five minutes and my rice is completely cooked through. Now all I'm doing is stirring in some sour cream. And by the way, my burner is turned off. Just gonna stir this in really well. Okay, so here's our dinner, another quick and easy recipe, and we are having side salads with it. So for dinner tonight, I am making jambalaya, making a couple of modifications to the recipe. One of them is that I'm gonna be using chicken rice aroni instead of Spanish rice uh, rice aroni. So I've got some butter melted in my skillet, and I'm just pouring that in. And it also says, the directions also say to add in my bell pepper and my onion at the same time. So I'm just putting that in. And it says to add in some garlic. And I'm just gonna give this a stir. And it says to let this get nice and golden brown and then to add in my smoked sausage. But I do want my sausage to have a little bit of color to it. So I'm gonna add in my smoked sausage now with everything else so that that can get a little bit brown. So I am just using this smoked sausage um, that I picked up from Aldi and I've already cut it up and I'm just gonna put it in the skillet and let it get, everything get nice and brown. All right, so everything is nice and brown. I'm adding in my water. A can of diced tomatoes drained. and the contents of the seasoning packet. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir, cover, reduce heat, and let this simmer for about 20 minutes or until that rice is cooked through. Okay, so here is dinner, another quick and easy meal, and I am serving it with um, green beans. So I hope you all enjoyed all of the quick and easy rice meals this week. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.